Our story last week about this spring's invasion of bastard cabbage weed along Texas roadways got a huge response. Many of you wondered what state highway officials are doing to fight back. New at 6, KXAN's Jim Swift has a follow-up report with an answer to that question. If we don't do something about this, we're going to have to say goodbye to our Texas wildflowers. Including blue bonnet. Including the blue bonnet. Our visit last week with Lady Bird Johnson Wildflower Center invasive species expert Dr. Damon Waite raised real alarm bells about the sudden explosion this spring of tall yellow bloomed plants that are crowding out our beloved wildflower crop. Response has been just crazy. My phones have been ringing off the hook and emails as well. Jessica Strickland, the Wildflower Center's Invasive Species Program Coordinator, says she spent 30% of her time over the past week dealing with people worried about the weed known as bastard cabbage. We kind of joke around a little bit about the bastard cabbage because of its funny name. and um, But, you know, honestly, I think... Uh, the phrase we're using, hello bastard cabbage, goodbye blue bonnets, has a, a ring of truth to it. Do you perceive a serious threat to, to blue bonnets and other wildflowers? If we have another year like this, yes sir. Yes sir, I do. Dennis Markward is vegetation manager for the Texas Department of Transportation. We lost tremendous amounts of grass last year due to the drought. The bare ground that resulted provided ideal habitat for the weed especially along highways. Highways have always been a vector for, for moving plants around. But we're not just talking about highways here. On a spot of right-of-way alongside FM 535 in Bastrop County is a perfect example of what we are talking about. I'm standing in the middle of a patch of bastard cabbage. And underneath it all, a small stand of pretty little evening primrose wildflowers fighting for its very life. But here's the thing. The bastard cabbage is not just on the right-of-way. It also extends into the surrounding pasture land as far as the eye can see. It's here to stay. Our best goal for what we can do is just learn how to live with it and manage it to it's not causing us the problems that we, that we see today. People at TexDOT are experimenting with various control measures, including mowing techniques and limited herbicide sprays. But they are also praying for rain. If we don't get good grass recovery from a good wet summer, we're going to be in the same place next year. Jim Swift, KXAN News.